So one thing I realized when I was going through my palettes to find stuff that wasn't no longer in production for today, I really need to go through all of my shit, especially the creams. I, I need to go. I, the number of things that are past their dates on the little cap. You, you wouldn't. Well, maybe you would. So, hello, and welcome to Dommy Tries This. I hope you brought your cuppa. Today's coffee mug says Boricua, person born from Puerto Rico, um, or Boriquin, which actually may not be the name that the natives gave them, gave the island. Uh, however, it's the, the name that we seem to be gravitating to in general. We are doing a January look in November, and November is um, Native American Month, Indigenous Peoples Month. So I thought I'd go ahead and bring out one of the Boracua, one of the indigenous, one of the few indigenous bugs I have, and uh, we would go ahead and drink that. In our Boracua mug is the Ahmed Tea Fruit and Herb Infusion Wild Strawberry from one of our Stip Spies. This says fruit and herb infusion with strawberry, evoking the joys and relaxing summer days, naturally caffeine free. Uh, their bags never carry the ingredients, but <laughs> we've had a real um, problem with the strawberry teas that we've tried. But, you know, might as well give it a shot and see if it'll work. So let's go ahead and give her a sip and we can get started. Actually, came out really of the of the bag really into the water as it steeped really kind of pinky red which is really nice so of course it's early in the steeping as we all know but we're crossing our fingers for it we've got strawberry We've also got to touch too much sugar, but we've got strawberry. Oh, I'm excited. I hope that strawberry flavor and continues to infuse and be stronger by the end of this. As these things go, you know that and is not going to be very long for me, even though you have a whole video to go through for it. Anyway, so today, right now, we are doing this look for a January reading. And I was going through my palettes trying to find stuff that wasn't discontinued because I promised you guys that I would use stuff that was not discontinued so you could get a hold of it. And so much of the stuff that I have is discontinued. And it's not even limited edition stuff. It's just old. I mean, I've got an old Sephora palette in here that I was thinking about and went, that's probably discontinued. I went and looked at several of my Nomad palettes. They're either no longer on the site or in the process of being discontinued. <laughs> I'm, on the one hand, I don't need more stuff. I really don't, I have a lot of stuff. On the other hand, to do looks for you that include stuff that is not discontinued, I need more stuff. This is a problem with the beauty community. It really is. However, as I mentioned in the opening, I did end up going through quite a bit of my creams and dumping some stuff that has been here for two years and they had a six to 12 month um, uh, expiration date since you opened the cap. And with my eyes and stuff, I wasn't taking any chances. So a whole bunch of melt got just got tossed. I love the melt eyeliners. I will probably never buy them again, <laughs> unfortunately. They're $20 a, little, a pot. I can't get through a $20 pot. I would much rather, um, if I'm gonna buy something, say mascara or something, that I'm not gonna get through, I am definitely gonna wanna spend less than $20 on it. So, um, you might start seeing me go kind of 
budget for at least the creams, the eyelashes, and stuff like that. We'll see. Anyway, so today we are making this look. You'll find out the palettes when you take a look. If you are interested, then just keep on watching. So it has been a while since we have done the turban thing. I noticed a, a more fullness to my curls last year. I wanted to see if this was part of it, uh, particularly since the, the new butterfly cut, cut is also seeming to add some fullness. So we're gonna see where this goes. You've already seen it, but I'm gonna see where this goes. In the meantime, we are gonna go ahead and get started. Uh, all of these palettes are available. One of them is being um, being discontinued, so you'll want to grab it. So we're going to be using the Fade Into Hue. This one is still on the ColourPop website. The Nomad Land of Fire and Ice. This is the one that's being discontinued. They are going to have something like seven of their original palettes still on the site when they're done with the sale. This is not one of them. And then we're also going to be using the Nomad uh, Verona Amore y Muerte. The, um, yeah, that one. <laughs> Romeo and Juliet palette, as it's called. And that one is going to be on the site continue to be on the site after this but the if you want to grab it I decided to use it today because this is this look is going to be for January but at the time that I'm filming this and putting this up on the channel this is still available it is $29 and I wanted you all see some at least some of it in use so that you could decide whether or not you would want to buy it now I'm going to qualify that with at this point, I'm not planning to use that many colors from here, but I just wanted to show it to you and let you know that this is indeed slated for removal from the Nomad site. So if you're into that color story, and if you love Nomad as much as I do, and you'd like to get one of their palettes on sale, this is one of them. The other one they have is their Tokyo, I think it's their Tokyo palette. It is their pastel palette. That is the last of the palettes that they have that are that are still being sold that they put on the chopping block for um, to make room for new stuff. So just letting y'all know what's going on down over there. So, all right, we're gonna start with the fade into hue. Mine has a mark on it, I don't know why. We're gonna start with the fade in the hue and we're gonna grab this very light blue, take it easy. I said I have kind of an idea of what I'm doing today. I may not have said that. I usually don't, but when I realized all my palettes were pretty much um, old discontinued palettes, I realized I had a problem and I needed to figure out what I was doing so that I could um, decide which palettes to use. Let me grab a brushy. All right, so we're getting into this color pop, this very pale blue, and we're putting that underneath our you know what I forgot to do? Hold on. I forgot to do one thing. I forgot to put powder on. And I could tell the minute I put that on my eye because it started to catch. I forgot to set my eye. So we're going to do a quick set. I have had this powder for years and years and years. Got it for like three bucks. This is the RCMA No Color Powder. It's white. All right, let's try that again and see if we're gonna be catching again. Okay, okay. Oh, that's much better. Much smoother application. Just going up. I am gonna try to do just one eye and then go and do the other eye off camera. Assuming I can remember everything I did. Like I said, I had to think about this because seriously, the number of palettes I have, they're no longer available. <sighs> and amazingly, the majority of them are not limited edition. 
they're just older. <laughs> they're just old. <laughs> like I'm old. Anyway. All right. So I think that's going to probably be the only color from here. Everything else is going to come from these palettes or a couple of eye pots that I brought out, including this Lorella in the color Icy. These are beautiful. Okay, the good thing about having to go through all my palettes and figure out um, what I was using and what was discontinued is that I ended up going through a whole bunch of my other stuff too and realized I had a whole bunch of stuff that needed to go. Um, I had um, the eyeliner pots and the paint pots from um, Melt that... Um, were at least two years old. And they're supposed to be thrown out at six months. Um, I love Melt. I probably won't be buying much of their eyeliners much anymore because I don't use enough to warrant them being, I mean, they're 20 bucks a piece. I don't use them up. I barely tap the surface of most of them. I did use up the black for a while. This is in the color I see. This is a New Year's look, by the way. Okay, so I, I got this wet and then I dried it down a little bit. And I think I dried it down just a little too much. Happens. Anyway, we are going to go. two-thirds of the way across. I do have another, um, I have a shipment of stuff coming in from Moira that includes their new cream gels. I'm excited and looking to see to afford that. I've got a couple of colors in that that I want to try. So we're going about two-thirds of the way. is beautiful. Yeah. I am going to end up with silver glitter everywhere. My, my daughter says I'm a, I'm a glitter fairy dragon. All right, so the next thing I'm going to use is another Moira, is a Moira pot, not a Lorella. Um, I haven't ex seen, gone to see if, if these are being expanded. Um, I do think, um, Lorella keeps stuff on their site for a long time, so I didn't check for this one, but I'm sure you can find a silver in just about anything. I just happen to like that. Okay, so we're going to go with this Moira Star Show. This is in the shade TFTI number 14. There. And I'm going to take a flat brush. Not that flat brush. I need a flat brush. Hello, I need a flat brush. We're going to take this flat brush. We don't need to get this wet, as you saw in uh, my previous Get Ready With Me for this. These come up so beautifully. I'm going to put this on the outer edge. I'm not covering up everything, but we're going over the edge of this silver and back. I am trying to create a gradient. So it's about, the silver went two thirds and I'm going about halfway on it to create this gradient. This is mostly to deepen that silver a little bit. So it has more of a blue cast to it. A 
All right, that's all we need there. And now, I did warn you guys that I may not be using this much, but I'm gonna start with, this is the fire and ice, and we're gonna grab this Milfheim, and we're gonna put it on this outer corner. So you can see, I'm going up a little bit in the crease, just a little bit. That didn't need much at all. Again, we went, we went a little over halfway going in the crease. It's not going to make much of that much of a difference once we're done, I don't think. Beautiful. And then I'm getting... I don't know if I brought out another fluffy brush. I was supposed to. Yes, we're going to take this one. Uh, all of my triangular brushes are dirty. So we're going to, we're going to sort of... Uh, MacGyver it. <laughs> Yes. So this is from Loella, not Lorella, Loella, another brand of brushes I really enjoy. I'm going to grab the Shimmery Val Valkyries. It looks blue in there. So this may be a duochrome, which is fine with me because it's looking purple on the way I'm looking at it. Yeah, you can see the purple back there. That purple that you're seeing right there is what I see when I look in the pan. So it's a nice blue purple shift. We'll see if it actually shows up that way. Probably not because I'm not putting it over a whole lot of space. We are going to use that to do the point on my eye. That little pointy thing that I do on my eye, I'm going to grab from the tip of my brush instead of the side. And we're gonna go over this whole thing and go back here. And we're kind of going down a little bit here. I may have to do some repair of the silver, but that's okay. All the way down. I'm just going back and forth, blending that out, bringing it down to the corner, blending that out so it's blending into that blue and isn't a hard line. So there. It looks more blue in my view of here. It might look more blue to you, but when I look at it here, it's purple which is what, what I was kind of aiming for. But having that shift is not a bad idea on this kind of in this kind of look. All right, so we're going to put this one down. Told you we weren't using much from it. And I'm going to grab... Oh, i got to find one. I know what I picked out. Uh, this is from... This is my no name. No, this is a Lorella brush. It is a round, it is a very tiny round point. And I am going to take from the um, uh, Amore y Muerte palette, Morte palette. I say Muerte because I'm, you know, I'm, that's, anyway. Morte, it means the same thing, death. Anyway, we are gonna take on the dark side, on the Romeo side, we're going to take this dark color poison. I think that's the Romeo side. Yeah, the Juliet, I think, is all the reds. So we're going to take this dark color poison. And again, I'm just tapping on the end of my brush. Now, this palette's a little awkward to use the mirrors from, so I'm using my little 
Tiana, Tiana, Queen, mirror. <laughs> and I'm just going to put this in my crease. I'm going to bring her up just a little bit and over just a little bit. So about two thirds up encapsulating this blue that I put on the end. And then we're going to go back here. Like that. As you can see, the, the Morte palette has um, quite a bit of fallout. It's a beautiful palette. I did struggle with my original copy of this and they very kindly sent me one that works better. Okay. And I'm very quickly going to grab another fluffy brush. I'm just going to run this along the top and kind of buffer out this top a bit. Smooth it, blend it. Blend that all out. I like that. All right, so I'm going to go and work on the other eye. I do foresee that I'm going to have to put a little bit more of the uh, Lorella Icy in this corner, just fix it up, and um, we'll see where we go from there. I actually have a little bit of black that I'm tempted to put on the outer end, but maybe the eyeliner will be enough for that. Anyway, going to be back shortly show you the finished look. All right, so here is our look. I did do some adjustments. I will talk to you about them in just a minute. Let's go ahead and take a closer look at our look. <laughs> we went Icy Queen because, you know, this is going to come out on the 1st of January. We got the January parties coming up then. This look is going to be for readings that are in January. I do, um, well, let's take a look at the look first. Before we get into anything else, I will, I will, you guys know I will chatter all day, right? So here it is. As you can probably see, the Lorella is hanging on really well. That's one of the things I love about the Lorella and the Moiras, both. Uh, they both do very well in my inner corners. You can come back down here. <laughs> also, as you can see, our experiment kind of worked. We are a little bit rounder, floofed up a little bit. But I don't know if it was enough for me to keep doing the headdress thing. Anyway, so let's get into all of this. I'm being so scattered today. I am so sorry. Anyway, so things that I did um, after we, after I went off. We, uh, I went ahead and took this color. Let's see if I can read this color. River Glacier, which is sort of a bluey silver and I put it right under the brow over that blue that was already there. I used uh, under my eyes, I used this very light purple Alfheim on the inner corner to about the middle. And then I went into the fade in the hue and I used the color Novo, Novo, Novo from the middle to the outer edge. And then I got another Moira pot in this beautiful purple that I love. This is their star show in extra. And ran that along underneath the, um, the wing. So those are the purples I put underneath because we have some purples in here. I also took a uh, this gold. Now, I gotta say, this is still not my favorite of their palettes. It, it probably never will be. It'll be something that I use intermittently for dark colors like that blue. But the, the shimmers and chromes in here 
are very hard to work with for me personally. I know Angela Nyquist didn't have much problem with this. They're a problem for me personally. But I did attempt to take some of this color Morse, Morse, this uh, sort of antique gold, and I put it on the inner corner. And I don't know if you guys can see it there. I like it there. You can kind of see it there. It's kind of a, it lightens up a lot of the, the frostiness without being, you know, well, it's cold. It's, it's not, you know, detracting from the look, but it is still giving, um, some nice uh, contrast to what else is going on with the look. So I really appreciated that. I really like that. But like I said, this this is a palette that is just really hard to work with. Um, most of these shimmers that I have have already sealed, have sealed up when I've used them. I don't know if you can see them, how they kind of look sealed. I have to literally... Um, scrape along the top or pick up the top to get anything and then they seal up again and I've had that problem with them for a while. The mattes in here are wonderful but I'm if you want the mattes then go ahead then I, I can recommend it for the mattes. I can't recommend it for any of the dual chromes or, or shimmers. This was not a formula that I really liked at all. So this was this is an older formula the ice and fire palette this is an older formula. However, it still performs better for me than the Amore. So, like I said, right now, when this is up, it's on sale for $29. And once it's gone, it's gone. Along with the Tokyo, which is their pastels. And if you give me a minute, I will show you the Tokyo and the pastels. Give me one second. I had to go around. And over here, I <laughs> have to kind of get up and muddle around to get into that. We had to move stuff around because we had to do a, a whole, had to get rid of a whole bunch of stuff that was over here that was initially holding a lot of my things. Anyway, anyway, so this is the Tokyo palette. I do believe this is the one that's on sale right now. It has these beautiful pastels and these light has one row of shimmery type shades. Now these are not their best shimmers. The pastels are great, however, they do show up on my skin. They were one of the first pastel palettes that I got that actually showed up really well on my skin. So again, this one too is being, um, has been discounted and is, once it's gone, it's gone. So if you're interested in either one of these, I would go ahead and grab them while you can. The, Verona is going to be there for a while. It's not on sale. It's 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 a fairly new palette, and uh, if you want to wait on it and think about it, you can. I think you'll be fine making a decision about it later. So that is it. The Fade Into Hue is still up. Uh, this is 39, I believe, which is really decent for the amount of colors. When I first got this palette, I couldn't put it away. So it's a really nice, colorful palette. Uh, it works really well, obviously, as a, a companion palette, but I've also used it for some solo looks. So another nice palette. The Moiras are still available. The only thing that is a question mark is the Lorella Icy. Um, however, even if they don't have the trio that I got this in, they probably should still have the single because Lorella and Moira, they hang on to things forever. Anyway, so that is our look. And um, I'm ready to go and do my readings. I would really love your opinion down below. If you want us to keep doing these um, reading, get ready with me. So I'd, I'd love to hear it. I'd love to hear your opinion on the look. And if you like everything that you've seen and heard so far, uh, I would really appreciate it if you would do all the YouTube things to help me out and help me, you know, show up in the algorithm a bit more, you know, like, share, subscribe, all those things, comment down below, all those things. Give me a purple heart. I love purple hearts. Go ahead and give me a purple heart. Even just, I would love that. At any rate, so that is it. We are going to sip our tea, which should be at full strength now. And we're going to hope that is, um, a strawberry or more than what we tasted at the beginning. And we're going to go ahead and I'm going to go reading two chapters and you're going to get on with your day.
Let's go ahead and do it. Still too much sugar. That strawberry is nice. That's actually nice. All right, this is going to go in one of my little, I apparently have two little bags with teas in them. This is going to go in my tea bag. Strawberry. Mm. I just need to lighten up on the sugar. All righty, so that's it for the day. I love my daughters. I love my dragonettes. Hope you have a good one.